Hi, I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Where there is lumber, wind, and drought, there are fires. The Great Lakes region has had all of these. The Great Fires of the Great Lakes starts with the September 1881 Great Thumb Fire. Drought conditions and high winds spread flames through the leftover brush from the Thumb's logging days. Towns from Cairo through Cass City and Bad Axe to Marlette and Sanilac County were burned severely. Between 200 and 500 people died through the Thumb Fire September 4th to 6th, 1881. And while most of us know about the Chicago Fire on October 8th, 1871, there were two other monster fires in the Great Lakes region that day. Holland, Michigan was burned to the ground on October 8th, 1871. Holland, being known for wooden shoes, had plenty of wood to fuel the fire. Winds were thought to be 60 miles an hour or more as the fire started southwest of Holland. When the fire was done with its hellish grip, 20 were dead and the wooden shoes were ashes. The greatest great fire of the Great Lakes occurred in northeast Wisconsin and Michigan's UP. Since it killed most in Peshtigo, Wisconsin, it's known as the Peshtigo Fire. There were so many killed in the Peshtigo Fire, the numbers aren't exact. Anywhere from 1,200 to 2,400 were thought to have died in the fire. Most of these large devastating fires were the result of brush left during logging combined with extreme drought and high winds. The logging era of the late 1800s and early 1900s brought prosperity to the Great Lakes. It also brought the Great Fires of the Great Lakes.